tree I'm just sitting here I got time Good morning um, This morning we're going to do a, a test startup with the generator At the moment we're on mains power as you can see We're going to simulate and that's the fan inlet and what we'll do is we'll simulate a power outage by clicking that off so the mains are now off and you can see that on the board there Very quiet. Um, when it's under full load with ovens going, L1's 19 amps, L2's 23 amps, and L3's 18 amps, which is cut over 14 uh, kilovolts amps. It's ample to run this place. It's, it's a good setup. If we come around the side of the shed, I'm about seven metres from the shed now. 
it's um, quite quiet. We have two hot air ventilators in the roof and the one cold air coming in. So what we'll do now, we're back around the power board, is we'll simulate the um, mains coming back on. So they've just come back on. Generator is still running, but it's switched off. It'll shut down automatically now. And there it is. So the generator's gone back into standby mode. And as soon as the ATS board up there sees that the main power is no longer on, it'll automatically start up the generator and then supply power up to the house. So it's only about a minute, I suppose, of power outage, and then we'll be on to backup power. Anyway, that's, that's our backup power at Camp 316, the Able generator, we bought it out of Brisbane. Um, it's a great unit, it's, it's a good price. I think this whole setup was about $12,000 in the shed and the concrete. It's well, it was well worth getting the extra power. We didn't need the 22 or the 19 that it can primarily supply. But uh, this tested yesterday. And, uh, it's using about three quarters, above the three quarters of its uh, supply power. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, click the button to subscribe if you want to follow further videos. We'll be done. Bye bye.